Howdy doodly do. Hello everybody, welcome back to Ginger Ninja Gaming. I'm the Ginger Ninja Wonderful One, also known as Marlow, and welcome to Marlow's Mobile Monday. Today we're going to be looking at the public transport simulator and we are right in with the settings menu. This is a pretty good menu because you can look at all, all the clicky clicky buttons. Although they don't tell you what they do, you don't have to guess, which is annoying. Uh, the top bit's pixelated. Oh, my god, transactions. This is what broke the game for me and it's also really unresponsive unlock all upgrades unlock all levels for money you can unlock the game you can finish the game for money there was a load of names what oh yeah the game does that uh, there's a mime getting on the bus as well yeah you can basically finish the game for money there is no point in playing the game. If you can spend a fiver, then you finish the game. I'm sorry if I sound really annoying. Uh, yeah, basically my microphone's on like a two of one second delay. And when you listen through both ears, it really annoys you. So, <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is, um, this is the gameplay. Uh, it's got a few cameras. Top bit's pixelated because of the adverts, which um, I couldn't turn off without paying money. Uh, that annoyed me. Um, the controls were also unresponsive and glitchy. It wasn't my phone, I will tell you that. It was not my phone. Because all the other games I play are fine. <laughs> Look at those dudes. Look like they've come out of a zombie movie. Yeah, all the other games I play are fine. They don't glitch out. They don't, no, they don't do anything stupid. I think it's just the game. Um... Oh yeah, this mass of pixelation is an advert <laughs> for Vega Conflict. Um, yeah, basically, there's no really point in paying for the game. There's no point in putting a free game out there if you're going to put microtransactions on it, because otherwise you're just going to make people. Because a game like this is really good. It was a really good concept because you could play the game for ages, which is it's kind of a good game to play for long bus journeys. There's a red light there. Oh, I am gonna stop. Oh no, I'm not stopping. Um, yeah, you, it's a good, you, it's a good game for like train journeys and bus journeys, but pick up and play, eh, not so much. Uh, which is what I'm kind of looking for. I'm looking for the best pick up and play game. Right, that's just looped. Um, yeah, this is on a loop again, like all the other videos. Um, it's gonna, yeah, it's alright. Yeah, so um, as you can see, I I clicked all of those buttons because. I wanted to see what they did, because um, it doesn't tell you, and you can't hover over them because there's no mouse. Um, I did turn them. I, uh, I did turn the music off, but it wouldn't make a difference. So yeah, removes ads for 146, but it clearly does not. Double XP, unlock all upgrades, unlock all levels. So if you if you pay, you can unlock the ads. You don't have any ads, nor do you have. And then you just finish the game. There is no point in in getting this game if you're just going to pay for it. Okay, I'd rather have everything. It's it's kind of a stupid concept because you you, you you for something like this, you can pay for something like this. You know, you could pay what is it like a fiver for all of those microtransactions, and then you'd unlock everything. But then that loses the point. And also, I'm going to compare this to OMT. Um, yeah, I okay. Yeah, it's just it 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 really is not that great. I didn't like it much. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the scores. <clears throat> All right. Okay. All right. So now we've got the score thing up. Um, scores. Right. The gameplay. The controls were unresponsive, um, and that was the game's fault for some reason. So I'm going to say it's worth. Well, I'm going to dock it a point. It's it was a pretty good game, really, for a mobile game, because it was interactive. I guess uh, I'm going to give it a f three. Um, it's definitely docked a point because of the. Um, what was it called? Yeah, because of the unresponsive controls. Uh, graphics were pretty good, although I'm going to compare it to OMC, so it's on a 4. 
because it had microtransactions um, for a really stupid reason. Storage. Uh, I'm going to give you four points because it doesn't take up that much space on my phone, which was really good. UI, the user interface. Um, I'm going to give it... Um, let's give it about a, th a four. Because it was pretty good user interface, you know. It, it, it's got all the clicky... It's got big clicky buttons, as we can see from the settings. But, again, the controls were unresponsive, so it does dock a point. But, because I'm docking a point on the UI, counting as controls, that does mean gameplay goes up by 1 to 16 overall points for Public Transport Simulator. And also, from what I can work out, it's... It, it, it doesn't... It's only public transport. Buses. No trains. Tube. Tram. Taxi. Tour bus. Nothing. All it is, is buses. So you could have just called it Bus Simulator. That is my opinion of this game. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, so you don't miss on my next episode of content. But thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you later. Alligators. Ta-ra.